Let me just go delete Abraham here from our scene and let's start with the figure, in fact. Maybe even with the brute. So let's say that's my custom character. Just briefly, just as an overview that you see how this works with smart content. So you double click him, you double click the brute and there might be a little bit of artistic nudity here. If you can't stand that, then please stop watching now. I'm sure we'll be okay. Here he is. That's the brute. He's pumped, man. He ripped. Very good. And so with the brute selected, if I head over here to my list of smart content at the bottom, I find wardrobe. And if I select that, I see every product that has something that the brute can wear, which means essentially Genesis 8 and above compatible content. And you can go and click either of these things that like maybe the biosuit, double click the biosuit product. This is the biosuit haul outfit with DeForce. This is the one without DeForce. These are the boots. This is just the suit. These are just the gloves. I'm going to go and fit this one here. Double click that with the brute selected and that will go and fit right on him. And the funky thing is now that Das Studio has parented the suit underneath my character here. If I open that up, I can see that this is where the suit is and various items for the suit. So if I wanted to make amendments to those, I'd have to select them here. Like for example, change the material on the suit, select the suit, head over to materials, and then I can see, you know, I have a blue version, a white version, and a green version. So let's go and make that maybe the blue version. That'll be that. And this is going to be the green version, whichever color I prefer. But if I go back out here with the suit still selected under materials, it shows me that this one is definitely compatible. This one is a generic shader, so I suppose that's why it also shows that. But these are still the products. So if I wanted to make a change and literally just click the color that's available for this, I can go to this tab here now, the files tab, and it will now show me all available colors directly clickable. Sometimes it shows it twice, depending on how many times that is included with the product. But in this case, it's not going to make a difference. I can just go and double click this, and then it'll turn my suit blue or green or white. And this principle works with figures, it works with hair, it works with literally anything and everything with smart content. And it whittles my list down. If I don't want that, and I'll just go back to products here, doesn't matter, either one will work fine. If I untick this filter by context, then I see everything that has material presets, including products that are incompatible with the suit. So you could still apply them, you just need to be aware of this little tick box here. Let me show you another example about smart content. So I'm going to go select the brute this time and I'll pick a pose for my man. So I'll go and pick the poses section here. And this once again shows me all the products that contain poses. Now, if I go and make that filter that, uh, whittle it down to the list of things that are actually compatible with my man, then, you know, there's severely less. Perhaps these CDI comedian poses will work nicely. I can go in there. And this is now showing me everything that's in this product. So this contains expressions as well as jumping poses and lying down poses and sitting at a chair poses. And it's all intermingled. And the way this works is that there's this context menu here that says these are all just poses. So expressions as well as hand poses as well as full body poses, they're all classed as poses really because Das Studio thinks about them as the same thing. It just adjusts morph sliders that are saved that way. We'll learn more about that a little bit later. But if I open this menu down, I have this other thing here that's now called by function or by region, or I have expressions separately. So this was going, this is going to show me all the expressions where we can load them, but we're not going to see him because he's wearing a mask and everything, so it's cool. Under by function, if I open that up, I can see that I have various in this particular product. I've got jumping ones, and I've got sitting ones, and I've got standing ones. So this allows me to just filter it down further and just narrow in on what I'm looking for. So usually sometimes poses work by just double clicking like uh, this way. If I go and uh, just use a standing pose, this is now going to make him stand up like this. I can double click another one and it'll do this. But sometimes I'm looking for something as a starting pose that I then want to fine tune and adjust. Some products have things that are separate hand poses and separate leg poses. So you can then go ahead and start by using a full body pose and then just deal with the right leg separately and the left hand separately and so forth. So you can do that. That's, that's kind of nice. Yeah, very cool.
But um, yeah, if you just use the top menu, it shows you everything in the product. If you go and whittle it down by function, you only see the actual poses because now expressions are filtered out. And if you want to filter this out further, then you can click on any of these categories here. And they will depend, they will vary depending on the product. There we go. So it, in comparison to the regular content library, then we can load the same poses via the content library tab, but it'll be significantly more difficult to actually find them. So let me see if I can do it. I don't work with it very often, but if you were to do this, you would go into your DAS 3D library. Then you would probably go into people. And then I would expect this to be in Genesis, probably not eight female, it's going to be in Genesis eight male. Under here, it'll be in poses. Here it'll be CDI, that's the vendor of the poses. If you double click that, you see comedian 8.1. You can double click that. And then you see one folder full of poses and then one folder full of expressions. So they're filtered that way because it's just, they're saved in a different folder. So in here you go and double click this and that will do the same thing as we've seen in the smart content. It's in fact the same pose, isn't it? Let's go load a different pose to make that, to, to make you see where that is. Yeah, so this is how you'd access this in the regular content library tab. So it is also possible. It's just, you know, there's no way to auto filter this out. So if you now go and select a second character, you'd have to know exactly where the product is to get there. One final thing I wanted to show you, if you're looking for something in particular, there's also a search function, both in the content library as well as the smart content tab that's up here. And I'm going to show you this with the smart content. If you go up here, no matter if you're on the products or files tab, it'll search for different things. This here under all products will search for a particular product you had in mind. So if I'm just thinking about the alt style glasses here that I have installed, if I type that in alt under all products, so I have to select all products to search literally every category in here. Then I see that the all products are there. If I go and either delete that or just click this here. That'll, that'll just get rid of that and show me the whole list again. It's like, you know, the filter on a website, essentially. If I say comedian, C-O-M, then I will find these two things, the comedian poses, but I'm also seeing the beach coma <laughs> hair, the beach coma hair, because it contains that. So it searches within the word as well. That's quite nice. So if you know you've bought a product, you don't quite know where to find it, you can just go look for it. And then the smart content will tell you where exactly that is works also with real files. So if you head over to the files tab, we have the same consideration here, no matter if it's an accessory or figure or hair product, if you select all files up here, and then you say, well, something I'm looking for something that has to do with jumping. So I'll just type in jump and there's everything that is tagged or has jump somewhere associated with that. So it could be like a gorilla jumping a tree. And it is in fact a pose that is compatible with my man. Thanks to that filter, I can see these are only the compatible poses. If I disable that, then I see many other things that are incompatible with my current guy, including animations as well as, you know, mouse poses here. Very interesting, as well as female poses. So let's go and enable that again. Gorilla pose is in fact compatible with my brute because they're both based on Genesis 8. That's kind of the magic behind that. Or basketball poses that happen to be installed. Yeah, yeah, man. Three points. Woo -woo. This also works, of course, on the regular content library tab. Let me just show you where that is and how to do it. On content library, you got to do more or less the same thing. So you can either stick in a directory that you're already in and then just type in the search phrase here. Or if you're not sure which product has what you're looking for, you just go to the top and select Dash Studio formats here. And then you type in, let's stick with the same thing, maybe jump. And then you have to hit enter for the search to get executed. And there's all the jumping pose files that are available in my library, including the ones that are incompatible because there's no such way to filter out what belongs with this figure or not. So I could just go ahead and apply female pose to my brute guy. It will work. Will it? And I won't work. What a shame. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. This is an animation here that previews it. So that will work. This is a Wolfgang pose. That's probably going to work. No, it doesn't work either. How about the mouse pose? Does that work? 
Yes, the mouse pulse kind of works, but it doesn't work very well. So beware of that. It, that's one of those things that I really enjoy about the smart content that you might still encounter things that aren't made for a figure, but you will not have these problems that it will show you something that is incompatible with the one that you have selected. Play around with this and see if it makes sense. It is all about trying it out. You can't really break anything and uh, just play with it and get a feel for it. I personally prefer the smart content tab, but not everyone works this way. So explore both options and see what works best for you. That's kind of the most important thing to get out of this. Find a way of working that works for you. And if something is frustrating or doesn't quite work for you, see if there's another way. So hence, you know, I thought I'd show you two ways. Let's take a look in the next video into these custom libraries and how to create them and how to save our content into them, maybe even how to install content into separate libraries. Stay tuned for that.